Hey everybody, June is the Asian American Chamber of Commerce Restaurant Month, and we're here at Eden Center, and I'm gonna show you some of my favorite restaurants. Come on. <laughs> well, today we're at Viet Foods Restaurant, uh, one of my very favorite restaurants at Eden Center, and I, I chose to start our tour of Eden Center here because we have a number of very popular restaurants. Now, I think sometimes Viet Foods doesn't get the recognition it deserves. Uh, we're ha having a wonderful lunch of some Vietnamese specialties. There's pho, which a lot of people know about pho. It's a vermicelli, a rice noodle dish uh, with beef broth. And this is a combo pho, so it would have all different cuts of beef in it. And over here we have Bumba Way, which is from the Hue city uh, in central Vietnam. It's a particular favorite of mine because it tends to come a little spicier. In Vietnamese food, it tends to not be spicy. And I, as a lover of spicy food, I appreciate that. It's interesting because it has pork and beef. The noodles are a little thicker. And here we have Saigon caramelized chicken, uh, which is also very delicious. And I am very excited to take a bite of this. I brought some of my friends along from my office, Alan and Kyle, and from the Asian American Chamber of Commerce, Cindy and Michelle. After lunch, we ventured out to some of my favorite places hidden in the indoor malls in Eden Center. We're here at Eden Center's newest restaurant, Chung Tin Restaurant. They specialize in Central Vietnamese cuisine. I am here with the owner, Titi, who has laid out a spread of some of the specialties they serve. So this is the main soup that the Central people of Hue eat. It's a beef soup. It has pig knuckle, blood, mm -hmm. <laughs> the blood and beef and it's very it's spicy. This is a rice cake. It has mung bean and it's over a banana leaf and you steam it. This is khao ban bok lap, my favorite. It, this is rice flour and it has like shrimp and pork. This is khao ban la. It's almost the same except that it's like very flat so it's khao ban la. This is like rice, it's kind of like softer. So this is with the rice flour, but it's a little chewy, and the bottom is the rice rice flour, but you fry it, right? Mm -hmm. So when you eat it, you you combine them together, and it's crispy yeah. and chewy. This is called ban, ban gai. Ban gai, it has dark ban gai. It's a sweet rice. It's mung bean inside, and then with the sweet rice outside. It's a dessert rice. Oh, this is my favorite. This is ban bao. Oh, these are oh. all my favorites. Yeah, it's also made out of rice flour, you mix it and then you steam it, and after that you top it with shrimp. Well, I'm gonna try this. While you're doing that, I'm gonna try This is one of my favorites. It's got like this crispy, it's almost like a, reminds me of a pork rind, but it's delicious. And when you mix it with the chewy, it's like this crispy, chewy tip flavor, and I've never had anything like it. It is amazing. Yes, it is. It I is love that. It is so that. good. Yeah. The crunch, <laughs> if you can, yes. if you, I don't know if you can hear the crunch when I eat it. <laughs> I can hear it. I can hear it. It's so good. And if you're in the mood for something a little different, I recommend Huang Viet Restaurant, one of our other new restaurants at Eden Center. I'm here with the owners, Kui and Wang, and they have set out a beautiful spread of Vietnamese food for us. This is Bon Siao. This is a actually, it looks like an omelet, but it's actually uh, like a rice flour, uh, fried rice flour batter. If you, if, yeah, if you open it up, right, it's got shrimp and pork and bean sprouts, and you eat it with the uh, fish sauce, it's amazing. There is a lot going on in this dish. So this is chicken liver and ground pork. Meatball will be, that's right there, right there. That's the meatball. So the meatball, the pate, the barbecue, the egg, and then the steak. And you take the baguette, and you kind of use a fork and you use the baguette like a, almost a utensil. Barbecue pork on a bed of vermicelli. Because I love everything here, but this is one of my very favorites. You dip it in the fish sauce. And what you do, you take a little bit of this, this uh, vermicelli with it, right? Mmm. And you're making a mess. One of my very favorite restaurants at Eden Center, Haiyung Restaurant. And I'm here with the owner, Yung. And what I love about this place is their specialty pho. This is pho thai, which how you can see like the, like the rare steak, you can put it in the broth and cook it a little more. And here's the barbecue pork with the, with the vermicelli rice noodles. And bon siao, it's like a rice pancake filled with sprouts and shrimp and pork. It looks like a lot of food, but I can I could go through two of these at lunch very easily. And here we have the, uh, the Vietnamese uh, fried spring rolls. They have vegetables and pork and shrimp inside of them. They're different than other types of rolls. They're very dense, and I really love them. And here is foga, which is a, uh, a chicken pho, which is like a, 
tastes like homemade chicken noodle soup. It's amazing. And the piece de resistance, the shaky beef, which is uh, cuts of tenderloin that have been marinated. And we've been trying not to steal piano. In fact, I'm gonna steal a piece right now on camera. Because I can't resist. It's just so good. I am here at Cal Sarn Thai Street Food. This jewel at Eden Center. The owner here, Erin, is the owner and chef. And she's taken this small restaurant, only 375 square feet total, and puts out some of the best Thai food I've ever tasted. And I eat a lot of Thai food. Our concept is a street food. I want to bring my concept. I want people to know more about Thai food. Street food is kind of fun. It's called Balat Pig. Pla is a fish. Lat Pig is a, all the sauce. It's all with the chili. You can see from the color. So this is all we call Balat Pig. Her presentation is world class. Erin knows my two favorite dishes. Yeah. <laughs> Crispy pork belly with pork string belly. beans. And for dessert, mango, mango sticky and rice. sticky rice with coconut milk and homemade mango ice cream. It's to die for. Aaron, sometimes I'm disappointed. I come here to get my mango and sticky rice and I can't get it because you only serve it when it's fresh. You yeah, mango fresh. Rice. And we top with the coconut milk. So the coconut milk here, I make it pretty creamy and tasty. You only serve it when the mangoes are in perfect ripe It's form. the best, yeah, because, you know, when you eat, you have to eat good. The people here make it special. It's not us the owners, it's the businesses, it's the small businesses that have, some of them been here for 40 years, and some of them have turned it over to their children, I, and they've been here since the early 1980s. Others uh, have changed businesses. Uh, one of our great restaurants, Rice Paper, was formerly a jewelry store owned by their parents. We started out newly from a totally different industry, and our family loves to cook, and we do catering, and we figure out, okay, Let's bring out into our own all our family tradition and bring um, make rice paper. Rice paper is one of our most award-winning restaurants, chosen year after year as one of the top hundred restaurants in the Washington D.C. area, and the only Vietnamese restaurant on that list. If you're in the mood to try a banh mi sandwich, you have to come to Eden Center to banh mi so one, one of the only delis in the area that bake their bread fresh. Michelle Wen from the Asian American Chamber of Commerce. Paid them a visit. Man, hi, how are you? Good, how are you? So, this is the best bun mi place in Eden Center. I actually uh, think it's actually the best bun mi place in the DMV area. Whatever you see in here, we made, we made it in here. We do uh, from scratch every morning, just like my dad. So we keep it traditionally. We don't change anything for the last 40 years. We do exactly the same in Vietnam. <laughs> How did you like the sandwich? What did you get? Yeah, I got a, like uh, a bread and some pate. Yeah, I love pate here yeah, too. I, here, yeah. I don't think there's a single thing that I haven't tried that I didn't like, to be honest with you. I love it all. So you've been here many, many, many years, right? Yes, yes, you know me. I'm always <laughs> and, here. And you see, our sandwiches still haven't changed, right? We still the, get the same yes, taste? Yes, quality still the same because a lot of um, places after COVID, the, their quality have really gone down. Mm -hmm. But I'm impressed that you know you guys are still the same, um, and the price still very reasonable. Well, you can't beat it. Good price and quality sandwich. You know, uh, a lot of uh, customer ask me why so sell so cheap, and they ask whether I go to increase the price. I said no. I try to keep it low as long as I can. Oh, thank you. So uh -huh. I want customer come test my sandwiches with a reasonable price, and. Hopefully, we, we can do that for another 20 years. Thank you for coming with me to Eden Center today. I've had the pleasure of showing you my favorite spots. I hope to see you at Eden Center soon. Maybe you'll find your own favorite place, because Eden Center is like a trip to Vietnam without the jet lag.